Have you ever stretched out your back after sitting for ages and heard a series of little pops? Or maybe you're one of those people who loves to crack their knuckles one by one. It feels so good, doesn't it? That little release of pressure can feel amazing. But have you ever stopped to wonder what's actually going on inside your body when you hear that sound? People worry it might be bones grinding together or something damaging. Let's get stuck in and find out the real story behind that satisfying crack. Let's imagine your joints, like your knuckles or your spine, are like little capsules. Inside these capsules, there's a special fluid called synovial fluid. Think of it like the oil in a car engine. It keeps everything moving smoothly and stops your bones from rubbing against each other. This fluid is full of dissolved gases, things like nitrogen and carbon dioxide. So. When you stretch or pull a joint, you're increasing the space inside that little capsule. This change in space causes the pressure inside to drop really quickly. When the pressure drops, those gases that were dissolved in the fluid suddenly form a tiny bubble. It's a bit like when you open a can of fizzy drink. You hear that pssst sound as the gas escapes. In your joint, the formation of this gas bubble is what makes that loud pop or crack sound we all know. Right, so we know what the noise is, but here's the big question. Is it bad for you? We've all heard the old stories. Your nan might have told you, stop cracking your knuckles, you'll get arthritis. It's a really common belief, and it's enough to make anyone worry. For years, this has been the number one myth surrounding joint cracking. It's time we looked at the actual science. Let's get straight to it. The idea that cracking your joints causes arthritis is thankfully just a myth. Loads of studies have looked into this and they haven't found any link between the habit of knuckle cracking and developing arthritis. One doctor was so dedicated to finding out that he cracked the knuckles on one of his hands every single day for over 50 years, but not the other he didn't get arthritis in either hand. This shows that the simple act of releasing that gas bubble isn't wearing down your joints in the way people feared. So if it doesn't cause arthritis, is it completely harmless? For most people, yes, cracking your own joints is generally safe. However, there have been a few very rare reports of people being a bit too forceful, especially with their neck, causing a sprain, but this is incredibly uncommon. As a physio, I see people with all sorts of aches and pains. 